Hi friends. I thought I would go ahead and film my video. It is just like really beautiful lighting right now. <laughs> so I was like, oh, let me take advantage of this beautiful lighting. Um, am I right or what? Okay. Um, we are going to plan in my B6 Night Owl journal. This is my purse planner. We're going to first do a plan for, now I'm redating this. Um, uh, and instead of using this as my daily in the back anymore, because since, um, I decided to stick with my Hobo Han for daily planning, we're going to make some budgeting pages back here. And I kind of want to like rip out these pages. Let's do it. I know some of y'all might have been so scared when I just said that, but it's really not a big deal if you rip pages out of a good quality TRP notebook. Okay, so what I'm going to do is glue this page to that one because I just don't want to see the little rips. Not that it's a very big deal. Um, so now we're going from page 83 and the next page is page 95, but... C'est la vie. Then I want to put some sort of um, divider here. I have some new jumbo stickers. And I think the one that I'm going to use is this one. Am I? Maybe this one? But it's so New Year specific, and I'm going to be looking at this for a while, so. Even though this one's so cute. Let's use this one to be um, my little divider. I'm going to cut it just a little bit. Oh, I have a um, package in my desk drawer that's from my hubby's Christmas present. Let me move that. Also, um, this week has been so crazy, and... My flipping heating pad broke. It doesn't matter if it's middle of winter. I, I mean, middle, middle of winter, middle of summer, anytime. I need my heating pad. My feet get so cold. I have anemia. And even though I take iron and I do all the things, especially at night, I get, um, and this part might be hormonal. I don't know. I get these hot and cold flashes. And when I get cold, I get freezing. And so I have like a nice heating pad, Sunbeam. And it had a two hour shut off and that was fine. But then it started going, turning off every 10 minutes. And then I would wake up freezing. Hold on, let me put this down then we can talk. That's the best way to me. I cut it a little short, but I would rather have it short than hanging off the edge and try to cut it. Um, now I can, I think I can lay this down. Oh, that's the wrong side. I can lay this down and just match it up since I cut it a little short. So anyway, um, the Sunbeam one wasn't working great. So then my hubby got me one that stays on for nine hours and it was some weird off brand from Amazon. And it was working great guys for like two weeks. And then I heard like a loud pop yesterday and I thought that the cord the little cord where you turn it on and change the temp and change the hours that it stays on and all that. It's like a big cord box thing. I thought it had fallen on the ground and that that's what the noise was. So then this was like at 5 p.m. I don't know. So I look off the side of the bed and yes, I was in bed at 5 p.m. yesterday. I was so flipping exhausted. This week wore me out. Um, so I look over the side and the cord is still where it's supposed to be. And then I noticed the heating pad wouldn't turn on anymore. The cord was still saying it was on the right temp and you could still change the settings and stuff, but the heating mechanism somehow went out. I'm not sure why. So now I'm back to using the other Sunbeam one and it does stay on for two hours again now, I guess, cause I didn't use it for so long and I gave it a rest, but I'm gonna buy another backup. Um. Okay, so 
as I said, we're repurposing this as my purse planner so that when I'm on the go, I have my weekly and then I'm going to have like a budget section. Okay. And then over here in the back, it's just going to be like a note section. So I just want to put like a uh, one tab here to mark where the notes section starts and where the budget section starts. Um, because that way when I'm just in my car and doing the school run or something, if I want to write a note of some sort, I have a place to put that. And then, um, like I have so many tabs and then right now I just can't find, well, I'm just going to use this. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I was like, where are my tabs? I'm going to use the sweet kawaii ones. I'm going to put, um, personal on the budget tab and then I'm going to put to do on the notes tab because my budget's personal. Also, I picked a word of the year. I was talking about that in my last video. So if you didn't catch that, um, you might want to go back and watch it. My word of the year is going to actually be a phrase and I'm really, really happy with it. I fold it this way first to just make a line to help me. And it still didn't help me. Let me turn it this way. And just. You just kind of got to do it gently and then like use your nail or something and make a crease. That's what I do. Good. Let me see where this. So I have plenty of room. Since I'm only doing two tabs, I have plenty of room. Let's see, this is page 97. I think 100 pages is more than enough for like my budgeting purposes. So starting on page 200, that's gonna be my next section. And that's gonna just be for like, um, cause I'm not gonna use the hobo weeks anymore. I'm gonna use this instead. And um, so I'm gonna have like grocery lists and brain dump in the back of this when I'm out and about and doing the things. Cause Hobo Weeks, I'm just not a horizontal planner. I love the look of the planner. I love the cover of the planner. I love the paper, you guys know that. But, and I love the notes pages part, but I do not like the weekly part. I like vertical weeklies. Or if it's a horizontal, like a two page spread at least. Okay, put these away. Now that that's done, let's make a few budget pages for my next check. Um, I'm gonna use my new washi from Sweet Kauai. It's a little Christmas washi, it's so cute. And then I'm also gonna use a Tombow soft tip for the Nesuke. Budenesque, I feel so um, fancy when I say that. Okay, so here's what I do. I put my December paycheck number one is coming on the 13th. So I'm going to put the date. I'm not gonna have enough room. Well, I, I wanna write out December fully. I'm just gonna put check, well, I'll put paycheck. Creature of habit about this budget. Okay, so I'm going to show you all how I set it up. I've shown this in a couple of videos previously, but I know in the new year, a lot of us are setting goals and a lot are budget related. 
So the only deco that I do for my budget is a little bit of washi. Just enough to cuten up the page and the rest, we're gonna get a pen and we are gonna go to town. Uh, my favorite pen is still the High Tech Coletto, High Tech C Coletto 5, because that's five colors. You can get inks that have like 10, 15 colors in it and switch them out. I mainly just use the black, but. Um, okay, so on the 13th, I get paid. So what I do over here, I put the date. I usually don't label these, but I'm gonna just label it for the sake of this video. Let me see if I'm zoomed in far enough for y'all to see what I'm doing. Okay, I am, good. Um, I'm gonna put the date, then I'm gonna put the category or item, and then the amount. Okay, so on 12, 13, that is payday. And then I put plus and I put the amount, which I'm not gonna do on camera because I don't know, this is a public channel and you know, internet and anyone from my work could stumble on this video and I don't feel like I should put that out there. What happened there? I smudged something. Oh, well. Then I put John, which is basically household bills. So I pay my husband about half my check. Just know that half of my check. And then um, out of every paycheck, let's see. I also, on this one, I have a Go Wild payment for my ticket which is 160. Then I have um, just a small afterpay that I'm paying off. My goal in the new year is not to use afterpay anymore at all, just everything cash, but I still have 35 total to pay off and then that'll be all the way paid off. Um, and then Christmas is gonna be about, 300 out of this check, 200 for like friends and family, and then, no, 100, and then 200 for my kids. I already have my hubby's present, and I decided not to do cards because I couldn't be bothered with it this year. I was thinking about it, and then I was just like, you know what? No. I usually don't do this, but since I have the categories, it makes me want to put the lines. Oh, and I wish I hadn't done that. I don't like that. Dog hairs everywhere. It's like unseasonably warm this week, so my dog randomly started shedding everywhere again, so I need to like brush him. How cute is this washi? I think it's still available. Don't quote me though. Okay. Um, the next thing that I need to pay is groceries, which is about 250 a paycheck. I get the main groceries, my hubby gets like the fillers in between paydays, like more milk, more bread, or hey, I forgot garlic powder, whatever. Um, then I have um, gas. I usually only spend about $20 because my hubby will take my car and gas it up on his gas card, but I just still reserve $20 to add to it if I need to. And then um, coffee. I go to Starbucks about twice a week, so about $40 um, between two or three times a week to go to Starbucks and get a venti and tip and all of that. Um, and then I just feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, my contacts. Out of this paycheck, I should be able to get my contacts. And I'm going to budget $150. Um, because there's they had to order my trial pair. They didn't have it in store and they're supposed to be calling me back about my trial pair and then I'll get my finalized prescription and I'll be able to finally purchase my contacts. Um, I said no stickers, but the way I have the lines this time is like something different than normal. So it makes me want to put stickers. 
which is fine. Because if I don't use these Christmas stickers, I'm not going to use them for a long time. Let's put George with his wheelbarrow full of presents. That is perfect. Okay. So then after I add all this up, what I do is I do an arrow for the balance that's left. Okay. So, and then I do a drop shadow there. Let's do that. In the starting in January, um, not that I'm gonna show you all these figures, but my pay is gonna change because I started getting insurance for the whole family um, out of my paycheck. And then I'll also pay John less money every month because we're splitting that amount. Um, so this is where I put the balance and then I'll put um, here how much uh, mad money I have. That's like just my money to spend on whatever I like. And then how much I need to save. Which saving in my bank savings is not working because all I do is when I run low on money, I take it out of savings and I spend it. I'm terrible. So I'm gonna start using these mini savings challenges and keeping it as cash and keeping it away so that like when I'm out shopping or if I'm doing online shopping, it's in cash and I don't have it to spend. So um, that's that. Um, until I get a better financial habits, I just have to save myself from myself. Um, if you're a spender like me and you're not a saver, then you know. Um, and then my hubby from like the household amount that I give him, he always has like savings aside for us for like car repairs and like things like that. So don't worry about that guys. I also have a health savings account card. Um, $40 every month goes on there because we're pretty lucky with our health, but I just keep that on there. Oh, that just reminds me, I do need to also go to the pharmacy and that's gonna be $20. Um, okay. Even though that's gonna mess up the beautiful look of this, I'm just gonna write it in really small. Okay, that's for my uh, Lux Pro. Um, so yeah, that's how I do my budget. And then I'm gonna have since it's December, I'm going to have a gift list here. Of the things that I'm spending. So let me Okay. Um, I spent, this is just going to be a running total on John. I spent 100. I already spent on my kids 75 and then I'm going to spend another, um, 300. So family, going to be a hundred. So that's like for my nieces, my sister, and my best friend. Um, Then I'm going to get the rest of the kids' stuff. Um, and John is getting some stuff for the kids separate from me since we have separate budgets. So I think our overall Christmas budget between this 500 and what he spent is probably like about 800 to 1,000 total. Um, so I'll have some... A uh, wiggle room. What do I want to call that? Cushion. Let's call it cushion. Of $25. And then instead of a balance, this is the total.
Okay, and then um, on this side, I'm gonna actually itemize all the gifts that I end up purchasing. And who they're for. I'm not even trying to make this look great. I'm just gonna slap it down just so I don't have to like open my phone all the time and um oh actually let's put washi at the top. Okay, and then some washi at the bottom. Daiso just opened in our area. It's like a little Japanese five below type store. And um, I got a couple of things there, so that was fun. Um, but most of my gifts come from Amazon. I don't like fighting with the crowds and the lines and the peopling. So um, now I think I'm gonna set up my week for next week, but I'm gonna just fast forward through that part since the video is already getting a little long with the setup and the budget. Um, so let me speed y'all up and then I'll be back. Okay, y'all, I hope you enjoyed watching this um, setup and plan with me in my B6. I'm just going to fill in my habits down here and the dots because I'm really determined to get back on track with my habits at least Monday through Friday, like Saturday and Sunday if I don't do my steps or like if I eat weird stuff, you know, that's fine, but I'm going by the 80% rule and 80% of my week is Monday through Friday. So if I stick everything on those days, then 80% of the time I'll be on track I'm trying to find my permanent marker, my Sakura micro perm. So my three habits are my budget, my steps, and my vitamins. These are the three non-negotiables that I need for every day. This section down here is gonna be for my gratitude. Um, my to-dos are gonna go up here and then my main um, event that I have going on every day will go there, which um, event is kind of strong for what I write in there. I'll just write like, sometimes what if nothing's going on, I'll put like what I'm reading, um, you know, take Braden to work or, you know, go shopping or whatever. Basically things that take me outside the house and then like Monday and Friday, sometimes I don't go outside the house. So I'll just put like what I'm reading or a main thing I'm cleaning or what I made for dinner or something. So those boxes are kind of like open, but um, I really like this and the fact that I can keep it in my purse. Um, I was like, where's my clip? Um, so let's mark off some of the stuff from this week. The cleaning I have not been doing and it's already Thursday <laughs> so I'll have to do that today steps I did not do I, I just started on Wednesday and I did 5,000 so that was great hydrating I've been better at budget um, I did not do well this week I spend too much money but next week, we're turning a new leaf with the budget, remember?
remember? Okay. Um, so I'm gonna work on my steps and my hydrating during the day. And then after work, I will do some cleaning or maybe on my lunch break. Um, I hope that y'all enjoyed seeing how I'm using my B6 on the go planner and I will see you in my next one. Bye.